Hey everybody, this is Bodishan here. So I'm just making a quick video on how to count atoms in a chemical reaction or chemical equation. Uh, so let's go ahead and just break it down really quickly. You can see that the small number is called a subscript and the larger number is called a coefficient. Now you can see we have Mg2 and then 2Mg. And I'm gonna tell you they both have two atoms of magnesium. So how is that possible? In order to learn that, let's look at one a little bit more complex, one that has a coefficient and a subscript. So now we have 2Mg2. Well, what you really have to do is you have to use the distributive property, and you're going to distribute your coefficient to your subscript, and you're going to multiply. So it's 2 times the 2. So really, right here, I have 4 atoms of magnesium. So let's go up to the top and let's see how we did this to figure out that these both have two. So if I go ahead and I had an understood one, it was blank, but it's really an understood one, just like in math class. And we're gonna go ahead and use our distributive property. So one times that subscript of two gives us two atoms of magnesium. Over here, we have a subscript that is not written, which means it's an understood one as well. So we're gonna go ahead and use our coefficient and distribute that all the way to our subscript of one. So two times one is gonna give us two atoms of magnesium. So that's how they are both the same, um, being different subscripts and coefficients, all right? Now let's go ahead and try one in a chemical reaction. Perhaps your teacher asked you to see if this is balanced or unbalanced before you start to learn how to um, actually do stoichiometry and solve to balance it yourself. So what I like to do is I like to add a little line down our yield sign to separate them to see how we can count them and if they are equal on each side, see if it's balanced or unbalanced. We're gonna go ahead and start with our Fe. They are blank, which means they're understood ones, just like in math. So if I do one times one, we are gonna get one. Over here, we have O2. There's nothing here, which means it's an understood one. So one times the two is gonna give us two. <clears throat> going on to our product side, we have Fe2O3. Now these are all together and they're touching, which means it's a big molecule, but whenever we have a coefficient, we distribute all the way across our molecule. In this case, it's not um, written, which means it's an understood one. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna distribute that one to all components or all atoms right here. So this one goes to the two for Fe. So one times two gives us two. And we're going to use that one again, and we're going to distribute all the way out to the three. So one times three gives us three for oxygen as well. And you would continue, if this was a larger molecule, you would continue to distribute that one or whatever number your coefficient is um, until you reach the end of that particular molecule. Okay. Now, if you're looking just really quick, like side note, um, Fe is one over here and two on the product side. So the reactant side is not equaling the product side. Therefore, this is unbalanced. And then you would have to use some stoichiometry to balance it. Check out my other videos for that. But let's go ahead and look at the next example. Go ahead and draw your line in the middle. Set up your um, variables that you're working with, all of your different elements. Um, and then you can see we have 4P. I already had, went ahead and did the one that is understood. Um, now you don't have to write that, you guys. I'm just writing that so you can see it, um, but it's not necessary to write that, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and use our distributive property. Four times that one gives you four. Going over to the oxygen, five times the two gives us 10. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at our product side. And we're going to look at the two being our coefficient. Remember that coefficient needs to be distributed to all elements in this entire molecule. So we're going to go ahead. Two times the two gives us four for phosphorus. And then two times the five gives us 10 for oxygen. Now, if you look at the reactant and the product side, you will see that they are equal. In other words, this is a balanced reaction already. You wouldn't have to do stoichiometry because it's already finished. Let's go ahead and look at um, an interesting one. Now we have a subscript on the outside of some parentheses. This is new, we haven't seen this before, so what do we do? Uh, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna write down your elements and then we're gonna go ahead and count them. So you're gonna start with the outside of the parentheses. 
the number on the outside, and you're going to distribute to the inside to all elements inside the parentheses. Now, you're only going to go to the elements inside the parentheses. You're never going to go outside the parentheses with that um, subscript that's on the outside. So we're going to go 3 times the 4, and that gives us 12 for hydrogen. And we're going to go 3 times this understood 1, and we're going to do 3 for nitrogen. All right, so let's look at what this would look like if we had another element on the outside. We're going to go ahead and set ourselves up, and we're going to start with our subscript on the outside of the parentheses and do 3 times 3, which would give us 9 for oxygen, okay? And we're going to continue, and we're going to do the same thing with the understood 1 for carbon, and we're going to go ahead and do 3 times 3, and we get three atoms of carbon. Now we are not going to do three times the two because that's outside of the parentheses. Remember this one only goes to all of the elements inside the parentheses only. Instead, we're gonna use our, our normal rules. What is the coefficient in front of SE? There's not one, which means it's an understood one. So if I do this one times its subscript of two, we're gonna get two for SC. And that is how you count atoms, you guys. I hope this was helpful to everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to see more. Bye, everybody.